Hey everyone, it's John here. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how we can transform text case in Excel. So here I've got a list of names and this is uh, first and last names, but it could really be any sort of text that you have in Excel. It doesn't have to be names. And you can see that uh, we've got some mixed case going on here. So uh, this first example here has a first name that's capitalized and then the last name is fully uppercase. Here we've got uh, all lowercase and here we've got all uppercase and we've got some mixed case and various other uh, things here. We've got a proper case name and what we want to do is transform these names in various different ways. So the first method we're going to take a look at is Excel formulas. So first let's just create a new column and the first Excel formula we're going to take a look at is the lower formula and this is going to take our text and transform it all into lowercase letters. So this is lower and it takes one argument and that's just the text that we want to transform. So in this case, it's our name and we can enter that formula and you see that all the names are now lowercase. The next formula we're going to take a look at is upper. And this formula is going to take all the text and turn it into all uppercase letters. And this formula is upper. And again, it just takes one argument, the text that we want to transform. And when I enter that formula, we get all uppercase names. So here we can see all the names are now uppercase lettering. And the last formula we're going to take a look at is called proper. And what this does is turn text into proper case. And that means each word in the text is going to start with a capital letter and then the remaining letters are going to be lower case. And this formula is proper. And again, one argument, just the text we want to transform. And when I enter that formula, we can see all our names. Uh, the first name starts with a capital and then is lowercase. And the last name starts with a capital and is lowercase after. The next method we're going to take a look at is flash fill. So flash fill is something that allows you to give Excel a couple examples of how you want to transform data. And then Excel is going to guess what that pattern is and fill in the rest of the data for you. Now with flash fill, uh, you can't have too complicated of a pattern. Otherwise Excel is not going to be able to figure out that pattern, but with changing case, it's pretty simple and Excel can definitely do that with flash fill. So first of all, we're going to change our names all to lowercase. So I need to give Excel a, a couple first examples. So I'm just going to type out the names here or the first two names rather. When I'm typing out the second one, you can see that Excel is already suggesting uh, that I use flash fill and it's already suggesting what the pattern is. And we just need to make sure that that pattern is correct. And so we can scan through these kind of grayed out uh, names and we can see that that's exactly what we want. So we wanted lowercase lettering. And if I just press enter, that's going to complete the pattern for me. Now I'm just going to delete uh, what Excel put in there because uh, if you don't see that, what you can do is just select all the data and uh, empty cells that you want to fill in. And if you go up to the data tab, uh, that's where flash fill command is. So over here, I can press the flash fill command and it'll do the same thing. And the other way to do it is with a keyboard shortcut. So the keyboard shortcut for flash fill is control E and it's going to do the same thing there. Now we can also uh, do uppercase lettering. So again, we just need to provide a couple examples. And again, it's gone ahead and guessed and it looks correct. So we can just press enter. And we get our uppercase lettering there.
And we can also do the same thing with proper case. So here I've provided the same examples. And again, Excel's guessed what we wanted and we just need to take a look and make sure that's correct. And it is, so we can press enter and we get our proper case sentence or names in this case. Now with flash fill, you can not only change the case, but you can do other interesting things. So maybe you just want to extract the first name and we could definitely do that. And here I got to provide a little bit more and control E and flash fills gone ahead and extracted the first name there. We can also do things like show the last name first and then a comma and then the first name. And Excel's flash fill will be able to do a pattern like that as well. So flash fill, very useful for uh, changing case, but we can also do some more complicated data extraction techniques with flash fill as well. Now, one thing to note with flash fill is that this is all static. So if I come over here and change one of my names that this is based off, so maybe this is now Eric, none of these values here will update accordingly. So if I'm using formulas instead, they're going to update, but with flash fill, it's static and you'll need to redo the flash fill for that to update. The next method we're going to take a look at is power query. So here's my original mixed case names. And if I go into the data tab, I can create a table range query from this. And that's going to open up the Power Query editor. And here's my data. And there's two places in the ribbon where you'll find uh, the text transformation. So in the Transform tab, we can see uh, format here. And we have lowercase, uppercase, and capitalize each word. But what that's going to do is overwrite this existing data with the new upper, lower, or uh, proper case uh, data. So in this case, I'm going to add a column and do those commands. So in the add column tab, you'll also find all three of those commands here. And that's going to create a new column for us and leave the original one intact. So first up, let's check out lowercase. I just need to select my column and come to the add column tab and lowercase. And that adds my lowercase data. Again, I'm just going to select my original data, come back up here and try uppercase. And we get uppercase names. And again, select my original data and capitalize each word. So proper case here. Now, if I come to my applied steps and look at those in the lowercase step, you can see that it's using the Power Query formula text.lower to transform the data. In the uppercase step, we've got text.upper. And in the capitalize each word, we're using text.proper. Now I can go to the Home tab and close and load this to a table in Excel. And we want that in a table and we're going to stick it in this same worksheet here and press OK. And there we go. We've got our lowercase, uppercase and proper case data. The next method we're going to take a look at is using DAX formulas to transform text. And so to do that, we're going to have to first insert a pivot table. So if we go to the insert tab and pivot table, and make sure our data is selected. And we're gonna put this in the existing worksheet here. And a important step here is we need to add this to the data model in order to use DAX formulas. So make sure that that's checked off and press okay. So here's my blank pivot table. 
and I'm just going to close this queries and connection window from Power Query. And we've got our pivot table fields list here. And what we need to do to use DAX formulas is add a measure. And you can add a measure by clicking on the table for that pivot table and right clicking and going to add measure. And that's going to bring up this measure editing window. And we need to give our measure a name. So let's call it lower case. And if we come into this part, the formula editor, if we start typing lower, there is actually a lower formula in DAX and it takes one argument. So it takes a bit of text. And so we just need to give it our mixed case uh, column. So table four mixed case, and we can close that formula and this will be a general category. So it's not a date, number, currency, or true or false. And we can press okay. And we're going to get an error because uh, this formula doesn't resolve to a single value. So DAX formulas need to aggregate and resolve to a single value in order to uh, work. So if I press OK, and if I try and use this lowercase in my pivot table values area, we're going to get some little error symbols. And if I hover over that, we can read the error message. Uh, this can happen when a measure formula refers to a column that contains many values without specifying an aggregation such as min, max, count, or sum to get a single result. So I'm going to right click on this measure and edit it. And what we need to do is use a text aggregation formula around this lower uh, formula. And the one we're going to use is concatenate X. And what that does is take all the text values and concatenate them together into a single value that's separated by some sort of delimiters. So the first uh, argument in this formula is what table are you concatenating values from? And in our case, it's table four. So if I type in table four in there, and then a comma. And then the next uh, argument is what expression are you concatenating? So we're basically going to be taking our mixed case values and converting them to lowercase uh, text with the lower function. So that's the expression that we're going to concatenate together. And then the next argument is uh, what delimiter do you want to use to separate those values in your concatenation? And so we're going to use a comma followed by a space. And there's also more optional arguments to order the concatenation. Uh, we're not going to use those. We're just going to close off the formula and general. And we can press OK. And now when we take this lowercase uh, measure and put it in our values area, you can see that we get all the names listed out in one single cell and they're separated by our delimiter of a comma and a space. And you can see all the names, those are all lowercase uh, text. And because we're aggregating this with the concatenate, uh, it's in one cell. If we want to list those out, uh, one for each name, all we need to do is take this mixed case field and then put it in the rows area. And you can see that uh, each row has just one name. And our grand total is still the full concatenation. So what we're going to do is just go up to the design tab and turn off grand totals. And that way we just get uh, the names listed out in a single cell, one for each cell. Now I'm just going to right click and edit this because I'm just going to copy this formula so I don't have to write it again. And we're going to add another measure. And this one, we're going to do uppercase. And we'll just paste in that formula. And the only thing we have to change here is this lower formula to upper. And and if I press OK, 
we'll get an uppercase measure and we can add that into our values area again. And what we get is names with all uppercase lettering. Now, if I try and add a measure and let's uh, try a proper case. And if I type out proper, there actually is no proper function. So we can't have a proper case with DAX. Uh, so I'm just going to cancel this out. So with DAX, we can only do lowercase and uppercase. And the last method we're going to take a look at is using power pivot to change the case of our text. Now, power pivot's not available for every version of Excel, but if you do have a version of Excel that uh, has power pivot for it, you're going to need to install that as an add in as well. And when you do, it's going to appear as a separate tab here. So power pivot tab and to add data into the data model, we can use this command here. But since we've already added it in when we added this pivot table, uh, we don't need to add data to the data model. We just need to go to the manage data model command and click on that to open up power pivot. And here's the data that we had loaded into the data model when we created our pivot table. And here we can add new columns. So if I add a column here for lower, then unlike DAX, these are actually going to be row level calculations. And we can come in here and type uh, lower and select our mixed case uh, to as the argument for the lowercase function and close that off and press enter. And let's just expand that out and we can see our lowercase text there. And same thing here. Let's create a uppercase column. and equals upper and select our mixed case as the argument and close that off and press enter. And let's just expand that out. And here we can see we got a column with all uppercase letters. And if I try to do a proper case. Again, there's no proper case function here. So proper uh, doesn't exist. So I'm just going to right click. So I'll just right click and delete that column. And now I can go to the file tab and save this and then just close this power pivot window. And then I'm going to take a copy of this pivot table. So just control C and control V over here. And let's just get rid of these DAX measures here. And let's get rid of this mixed case field and we can add in our lowercase field. And we've got our lowercase names there. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste this and remove my lowercase field and add my uppercase field. And there's my names listed out in uppercase. So there's five different methods to changing the case of some text in Excel. We can either use uh, formulas, flash fill, power query. We can use DAX or we can use power pivot. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future videos on Excel. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys next time.